This is Dave Sundstrom. Welcome to another video celebrating entertainment from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. Ruth Buzzy has been trending on social media lately, and I must confess, it is for all the wrong reasons. Give me just a couple of minutes, and I'll share what's going on with one of TV's funniest ladies. Now, I am sure that Laugh-In is where most people were first entertained by Ruth. That show ran for six seasons on NBC from 1968 to 1973, and during that time, Ruth became one of that show's breakout stars. But you know what? That's not where I really came to appreciate Ruth's talents. Nope. Instead, for me, it was on a Saturday morning program called The Lost Saucer. This little slice of sci-fi comedy produced by Sid and Marty Croft and co-starring the equally funny Jim Neighbors aired during the mid to late 70s on ABC. On that program, Ruth and Jim star as two very kind and friendly time-traveling androids who inadvertently end up with a couple of extra passengers along for the ride. Sadly, no one knows if Jerry and his babysitter Alice ever made it back home. But hey, that's not what this video is about. Let's cut to the chase and find out what is going on with Ruth. You know, she's always had a very strong social media presence, in particular on Facebook and Twitter. I follow her on both platforms primarily because she's just such a force for good. She's always so darn positive. Not so long ago, she posted something about remembering a time when entertainers just entertained. And you know what? I think that she's on to something there. There was a simple beauty in being blissfully unaware of a TV star's politics. And I've always enjoyed Ruth's really corny jokes. Here's one from March where she says, If you want to get gas for under $3, you might consider Taco Bell. And here's another one from April 15th. This one's even cornier. She says, Elon Musk should wait until October 31st and make offers on both Chick-fil-A and Twitter. And then wait to see which deal goes through. And here comes the corny part. Chick or tweet. <laughs> So with all that said, I was super disheartened to stumble across this post about a month ago on Ruth's official Facebook page from her husband Kent. In it, he says, Ruth has been hit with a series of devastating strokes that have left her bedridden and incapacitated. The good news is she can still speak and understand, and she still recognizes all of her friends and loved ones. Despite everything that she's going through, over on Twitter on August 3rd, Ruth posted this. Some people have strokes of luck. I had the other kind. But thanks for all your love, messages, cards, letters, and sweet tweets. And although my final arrangements include cremation, I'm not quite ready to make an ash out of myself. What a funny lady. Here's one more from Twitter. This time, because Ruth is referred to in the second person, I've got to believe it, it is again from her husband, who encourages fans, instead of sending flowers, to make a donation to a Fort Worth, Texas organization that helps needy elderly and struggling families in the area. How cool is that? Even with everything that she's going through, this amazing lady is thinking of others. So here's the real reason why Ruth is training. It's not because of her health crisis. Instead, it's because she is handling it in such an inspirational way. Just like the characters that she plays on TV, she's so full of optimism and positivity. What a lady. All right, here's a couple more pics from The Lost Saucer. I've published a video about that show. There it is, go ahead and click on it. I'm pretty much done here. Thank you so much for watching.